Hey everybody, this is Scott. Uh, I am in New York at the Summer of Heat, and I'll be doing a couple of uh, short little interviews to post about my trip here. And to start off talking about Summer of Heat, I'm gonna be talking with Alec Conan, who is the co-director of Stop the Money Pipeline. Hey Alec, welcome to the Green and Red podcast. Uh, tell me what you're doing here in New York City. Thanks, Scott. I have um, moved to New York from my home in Seattle, Washington for the summer to run, help run a Summer of Heat on Wall Street campaign, which is a campaign of sustained nonviolent civil disobedience against the banks, insurance companies and investors that are bankrolling coal, oil and gas expansion. And, you know, Summer of Heat makes me think that it's going to be a long summer. So how long is summer heat going for? It is going to be a long summer. It's going um, for months. We're not exactly sure how long it will go for yet. We don't have a, an exact end date in mind. Uh, we are committed to several months of um, multiple non-violent civil disobedience actions on our Wall Street targets every week, all summer long. We're talking three to five disruptive civil disobedience actions against the for the summer. And how are, how are those bankers feeling about you blocking their doors at seven and eight in the morning? You know, it's a range. I've I've I will say I've seen everything from I've literally had a fist pump from a from a Citibank worker. I was kind of running around at the action and um, and I'd been already been on uh, up on a table doing a bit of a mic check and, and this employee city badge literally gave me a fist pump. And then um, some of them are really fucking angry. Um, we've had. Um, We've had pretty senior city staff pushing people uh, that we've caught on camera, particularly um, an older, heavier uh, man pushing a young female student um, on Friday. Uh, we had a protester got kicked in the shin by a city worker. Um, we've had city workers shouting in faces of um, particularly younger protesters. So um, really the, the reactions from city workers are running the gamut from quiet support to um, anger. We even had one guy tell us that uh, he had to get to work so he could call Exxon. We had uh, one city worker who told us we needed to get out of the way so he could get to work and call Exxon and <laughs> cut a deal. He literally said that. Um, so it really runs the gamut in terms of city workers' responses. And what has been your favorite moment so far? We're only in the third week, I realize, but what has been your favorite moment in the summer of heat? I mean, it was pretty beautiful seeing a hundred people in orca costumes <laughs> and there's a great chant on the streets in New York here about tax the motherfucking rich and people quickly adopted it to be sink the motherfucking rich and it was fun to see orcas and see, you know, cops pushing orcas and it was also, you know, probably the most militant um, day, like we literally had people in orca costumes like barreling through cop lines to get to the doors to reenact the blockade and I don't know, there's a great TikTok video that um, Planet Over Profit made that wraps up the, the action that captures it really well. And um, we had beach balls, we had about 30 foot long banner that said sink fossil fuels. And yeah, that was probably the most fun day. I got to give a speech as an orca in the character of an orca, which I quite enjoyed. Um, so that's maybe a highlight so far. That's awesome. Hey everybody, so that was Alec Conan with Stop the Money Pipeline talking about the summer of heat. And hopefully we'll have uh, one or two more interviews from the summer of heat. But keep in touch and misbehave and we'll talk to you soon.